I'd like to invite on stage uh, Tamara Russell, please. Thank you. Now, Tamara is uh, Tamara's a clinical psychologist and a mindfulness trainer um, and therapist, but also a martial artist. Um, and you're a visiting lecturer in the um, Psychosis Division at the Institute of Psychiatry, King's College London. And you teach mindfulness and you've also researched its impact on the brain. So what got you interested in mindfulness in the first place? Well, my entry point into mindfulness was through Shaolin Kung Fu training. Um, and I trained for many years uh, in this martial art and part of that training does have its origins in the monastic traditions of China but of course in the West uh, that wasn't really explicitly taught um, but I very much learned implicitly through the bodywork um, the principles of mindfulness but I didn't really know and understand that until later on when I was training to be a clinical psychologist and learning much more about the mind and models of the mind uh, and came across Mark Williams' work and the work at Oxford University, uh, mindfulness-based cognitive therapy and mindfulness-based stress reduction, uh, when sort of the, the, the pieces fell into place. Uh, and as I was reading about techniques and training such as the body scan, which we'll try a little short version of it, uh, in a minute, uh, I had this moment of, oh, I know about this. <laughs> Actually, I really know about this. I didn't necessarily call it the same words, but um, there was a, a, a sense of really knowing from my body what this was about, and, and that was the start. And how would you explain to people what mindfulness is? You know, there'll be some people who, who practice it, there'll be some people who've heard of it, there'll be other people with no idea. What, what, what would you say it is? Uh, well, I'll, I'll give a kind of uh, standard definition that we work with, um, which comes from John Kabat-Zinn, who's one of the people that introduced mindfulness really into the Western health setting. Uh, and he describes it as the type of awareness that arises from paying attention on purpose, moment by moment, and non-judgmentally. So it's quite a dense definition, and, and as Ruby was saying, you know, you need to be watching, you need to be observing, but it's not in this punishing way, it's in a very gentle, non-judgmental way. Um, so it's this kind of this whole package.